Proud to serve the heart of the Midwest. This is the hometown team, WCCO 4 News. Checked our files and found video from a 1988 concert at the Met Center. Fans flocked to see the Rat Packers, Frank Sinatra, and Sammy Davis Jr. It seems the appeal for Sinatra's style and music is timeless. I'm here because I love Frank. Frank's classic. I've been listening to Frank since I was eight years old. I grew up on Frank, Dean, and Sammy. So uh, needless to say, I'm just a little bit disappointed Dean's not going to be here, but uh, I think we'll pull through. His 40s stuff is real, real jumpy. It's real, uh, it's real optimistic, and I enjoy that. And, uh, you know, his, I think it was his third retirement I thought was real interesting, too. It was kind of when I was getting out of high school, and I was kind of into retiring also. Maybe this time. celebrating the life and times of Frank Sinatra, who passed away of a heart attack last night at the age of 82. We have news coming up next. Today, the sentiment is the same. KLBB Radio is honoring the legend with All Frank, All the Time. You can catch it today at 1400 AM. For fans, the news of his death came as a shock. You know, I, I always liked Frank Sinatra. Uh, phrasing, the way, the way that the man could turn a, turn a phrase in a song is beautiful. Uh, never be seen again. I remember seeing him in Las Vegas, and uh, there'll never be another one. Indeed. Again, Frank Sinatra dead at the, of a heart attack at the age of 82. How to serve the heart of the Midwest. This is the hometown team, WCCO 4 News. WCCO's Cammie Melton continues our coverage of Frank Sinatra by showing us how Twin Cities fans took the time today to listen and remember. They were uh, celebrating the life and times of Frank Sinatra, who passed away of a heart attack last night at the age of 82. The world on a string. It was all Frank all day at KLBB AM. Sinatra was just on too many minds and in too many hearts to play music sung by any other. You bet. Bye-bye. She was crying. It was a young, young gal, too. The words meant something to him. Uh, and that I loved about him. This DJ knows his listeners aren't the only ones mourning the loss of the legendary Sinatra. I think a loss to the music community and to the country. Um, he was part of uh, American culture. He was really an icon. People are not only listening to Sinatra music today, they're also buying it. In fact, many stores will be sold out by the end of the day. With his passing here today, I, th I thought it was appropriate that I, sh I should be listening. He's had the longevity like no one else. Tables are empty, empty Sinatra shelves are nothing new for music stores, but selling all his CDs in just about 10 hours the same love song. is something only a day of reflection can inspire. Sinatra sold, you know, no matter when. He was, it's, his music is rather timeless. He's, he's a great vocalist that, you know, probably nobody in history is going to match. What a world! No I miss him. And I will miss him. In Minneapolis, Cammie Melton, WCCO 4 News. One of my favorites. Eight of Frank Sinatra's songs are being digitally remastered and will be released next Tuesday. We're told that the timing is just a coincidence. Live from KSTP Television, this is Channel 5 Eyewitness News Midday. Music and film lovers around the globe were saddened to hear Frank Sinatra's passing. Sinatra suffered a heart attack last night just before 9 o'clock our time at an L.A. Not hospital. Already flowers appear on Sinatra's star on the Walk of Fame. The chairman of the board recorded more than 200 albums, acted in several films, and even won an Oscar for his performance in From Here to Eternity. He's considered the first entertainer to drive the ladies wild, paving the way for the likes of Elvis and the Beatles as far back as the 1930s. A private wake and funeral is being planned. Sinatra's Minnesota fans are no different from his fans around the globe. They're in mourning, but most are also celebrating his life and his legacy. Michelle Maganant is live at a local big band station, and Michelle, the station is playing round-the-clock Sinatra. Raylene, they say Sinatra all day, Sinatra all the way. If you feel like reminiscing, just tune in to 1400 or 1470 on your AM dial on the radio. We're here at the studios of KLBB where they're playing all that Sinatra music. As a matter of fact, Raylene, one of the broadcasters here even teaches a college course on Sinatra and his music. It was the silky, suggestive voice. Close to me. 
that set a new standard in American music. Arnie Fogel teaches a five-week course on the man who, back in the 40s, made dreamy-eyed fans swoon. You go to my head And you linger like a haunting refrain That very soft little twist of the voice Poppy Day Remember the veteran. During the World War II era, Sinatra was not as big a hit with some of the men. Mainly because of jealousy. A lot of us chaps had to be overseas, and here he had all the girls screeching back home. I did it my way. Sinatra was a teen idol for another reason. He knew how to manipulate. Sinatra had a publicist named George Evans who went out and hustled up a bunch of young girls to sit in the Paramount Theater and make a lot of noise. During his later years, Sinatra hit the concert circuit, making his last appearance here in the Twin Cities seven years ago at the Met Center. His death is a sad occasion for Fogel and for all fans. The man is gone, but his music and movies keep his memory alive forever. Come on, come In about another half hour, there'll be another musical tribute to Sinatra. The bells at Minneapolis City Hall will start ringing out Sinatra tunes starting at noon. So, Ray Lynn, if you grab your lunch quick and head outdoors, you may catch another rendition of a musical great. Ray Lynn? All right. Thanks a lot, Michelle. A lot of people are, are remembering him fondly today. They'll miss him. Be sure to stay with Eyewitness News for more reaction on Frank Sinatra's passing. Minnesotans join the world tonight remembering Frank Sinatra. Today we're paying tribute to Frank Sinatra. And Sinatra died of a heart attack last night in Los Angeles all day. Local radio stations like KLBB played his music. It's a way of paying tribute to, outside of Bing Crosby, probably the most well-known singer in the 20th century. The chairman of the board was no stranger to the Twin Cities. He played to this sold-out concert during Super Bowl week, and that was six years ago. He and Sammy Davis Jr. also played Met Center ten years ago. Sinatra's family is planning a private service. He was 82. With Paul Majors, Pat Miles, and Ken Barlow, you're watching Carrie 11 News at 5. Sinatra was one of the first media bad boys. He wasn't afraid to throw a punch and often found himself in the center of a scandal. Those antics have faded with time, but his music never will. And as Carol Evans' Brad Woodard reports, his songs are a lasting legacy that have his fans saying thanks for the memories. All the way. On the day after his death, the voice of a legend seemed to shine more brightly than the sun. Good afternoon. I'm Reed Hagen. We, of course, uh, today are paying tribute to Frank Sinatra. On the day after his death. This is from a new album recently released here. The album's called Come Dance With Me. The chairman of the board was king of the airwaves. Time hurries by. Sinatra was one of those people, people loved him or they hated him. He's one of the few people who've been around this long. I think that somebody in their teens or 20s may not be a fan, but at least knows who he is. He's a great entertainer and can't stand up about him. Over the years, I watched him since I was a child, and it was sad to hear of his death today. During lunch hour in downtown Minneapolis, the landmark bells of City Hall played a strangely familiar tune. Chances are, old Blue Eyes never imagined my way this way. Well, I think it's a tribute to his being uh, one of the finest exemplars of American popular song. The tribute echoed down the street to Souvenirs Plus, where among the mementos from America's favorite pastime, you'll find some from one of its favorite singers. He's soft inside and tough outside. That's how I'd explain him. He, he worried about things, of people, and different things. And, uh, but the whole thing is, he didn't want anybody to know that he wasn't Tough. Ray Crump and his wife met Sinatra in Vegas back in 1979, and they say after that, he kept in touch. He called me on the phone, and it was 33 below zero. He said, I thought of you when I saw the temperature. He remained timeless because you couldn't improve on him. Artie Fogel is a Twin Cities vocalist and music historian. But there's no question in my mind that to leave the, this planet with uh, as much as he left it, that wasn't there before he entered this planet, such an immense contribution 
That's a great man. Brad Woodard, CARE 11 News. Sinatra's family said his funeral will be private, and they're not releasing any more information about the service. The Sinatra family is asking that in lieu of flowers, you make donations to the Barbara Sinatra Children's Center at Eisenhower Medical Center. The address is 39,000 Bob Hope Drive, Rancho Mirage, California. The zip code is 92270. And if you don't get a chance to jot it down, just check out our website at care11.com.